everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a trying to conceive and how we conceived bill and daisy so if you want to know more then keep watching i was just eye rolling to myself after that intro because it sounded like i was like yeah do you want to know how we made a baby do you want to know what exactly happened i'm going to spare you the details but this is more of like my journey into becoming a mother the first and the second time um with regards to conception and things like that and if you followed me for any length of time you'll know that i'm part of channel mom and every single month channel mom has specific topics that we're invited to get involved with and i thought i would do this one because i have done a video before um about daisy and how i conceived daisy which i will leave linked down below it's from way back when so it'd be a blast from the past and i think i look like a mess and i think it wasn't long until i just found out as well but you'll see all of my um you know like symptoms and that like days post ovulation and all of that but i will recap on daisy shortly in this video too but i also wanted to talk about like bill and just generally like how i have found conception because i remember when i was in high school right and i'm sure we're all the same you get to a certain age don't you and your teachers your parents your friends they basically say if you even look at someone's willy you're gonna get pregnant but it isn't actually like that and i'm not saying now that you know contraception is not a really important thing because like let me tell you now as someone that's had a surprise baby um it's very very difficult finding out that you're pregnant when you aren't expecting to so in my situation bill was my surprise baby and daisy was my tried for baby now i found out i was pregnant with bill when i was 23 years old and i'd recently come back off a holiday with bill's dad and his parents and for anyone that's new i'm no longer with bill's dad i've not been with him for a very long time and i'm now with mark who is daisy's father just to clear that up and no i never expected to be that woman that had two children two two different dads but you know i wouldn't change my life for the world um and yeah we, we'd just come back from holiday and i remember when i was on holiday towards the end I started to feel a bit sick but I had been drinking a lot, I had been eating a lot and it was very very hot and I remember one night we had loads to drink and we went back to our room and I threw up and it was all ha 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 Charlotte can't handle a drink blah 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 and um, I didn't really think anything of it and then a few weeks later I'd still been feeling quite queasy, it like lessened a little bit um, but it was near my mum and dad's anniversary and they'd gone away and we'd gone to go and see some mutual friends um me and bill's dad and um while i was there and on the way i felt queasy and i we'd like had a bit of a bicker in the car because he was like oh you should take a test and i was in denial that sort of thing and while i was there my friend convinced me that i should probably take a test so yeah she convinced me to take a test and i was like all right all right i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow so we headed back to my mum's that night because we were dog sitting at the time and my mum and dad had gone away for their anniversary and we left the next day and on the way home we stopped at a big tesco near our house and picked up a pregnancy test and back then i didn't have very much money at all so it was like i remember my eyes bulging slightly like how much it cost and the worst thing about it is that in the store that we went to all the tests were in those plastic security boxes so i couldn't just quickly like nip it through on self checkout or something and like scurry away back to the car i had to ask someone to open it i was really worried that someone i knew would see me with a pregnancy test and it was very it was really really nerve-wracking and got home went to the toilet took the test and it didn't take very long for it to come up as positive um i remember the pack being one where you got a it was clear blue a normal test and then there was a digital one it said don't take the digital one unless you get positive on the the normal test so I took both and it said uh, two to three weeks pregnant which actually by the time that I found out from my dates and things like that I was told at the scan I was already about six weeks 
and I was in absolute shock. I remember crying my eyes out and thinking what are we going to do because you know 23 isn't the youngest age by any means but I had a steady job. We were trying to do up this house that was in a complete state of disrepair and it was very 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 scary and the scary thing about it is that I was on the contraceptive pill um, but previous like the previous cycle I had had like a bit of a tummy bug and you don't think, do you, at the time? You're taking your pill on time, all the time. And I had a tummy bug and it obviously rendered it ineffective. And I just feel like Bill was meant to be here. Um, I don't know what that says at, at all about like my fertility or anything like that, but it was very, very strange to then when it came to Daisy, especially because I had Mark and like it was a new partner, like to actually try for a baby because we didn't know how it was gonna work. I've never done this before. Mark's never done this before. Um, our like genetics were completely different. So what if like for some reason, you know, it was more difficult for us to make a baby. So when we first met, we discussed children. I obviously already had a child and Mark in time became Bill's stepfather and what a brilliant one he is too. So when we came to thinking about babies, I said to Mark, right, you know, if we're thinking about next year, aren't we? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come off the pill and get it out of my system because A, I don't work very well with the pill anyway. It damages my libido. Like, I enjoy sex. I don't want something to ruin that. Um, I found that it did make me gain weight and I found that it did affect my skin as well. So, I came off the pill in around November of 2014 I believe and then we started trying to conceive in July 2015 um, or at least that, that is when we conceived I think <laughs> if my if my brain remembers it correctly but I fast forwarded a little bit too much there so I came off the pill and that was fully out of my system and then I started using a selection of apps and I do touch on this in the video that I'll leave linked down below but I thought I would show you them in this video as well because I will be using them again so hopefully you can see here I have a little folder on my phone called ovulation and I have several apps in here but the two that are my favorite are uh, this one here which is glow and this one here which is clue now what these do is that they enable you to log your period and you can put like information in there there's also a like calendar so you can see when your last periods were and it's just really really helpful to get to know your body it will also tell you when you're ovulating um signs to look out for you can record things like cervical mucus and all of that so i would say from around january of 2015 I was locking my periods every month and I was getting to grips with things like cervical mucus because who knew that when you were fertile your vagina made egg white like that's great isn't it but it was fascinating learning how my body worked and what you know what was happening at certain times in the month and I really really credit that to why we were able to conceive Daisy um so quickly but I also think that there is a lot of trial and error with making a baby um you know we are planning on having a third and I don't know if it's going to work like that next time round and I count my blessings in both instances with my children that one of them was a complete surprise and a gift and the second of which was conceived very quickly and I know that I'm very lucky and I know that this sort of topic is a sensitive subject so please know that anything I say here is just my story and this is not intended to hurt or upset anyone who is having um, issues trying to conceive or has fertility issues as well because you know that I am completely on your side and ugh, if I could make everyone pregnant I would do you know what I mean <laughs> but um I just felt like I needed to say that, sorry. But yeah, with um, with that in mind, I tracked my periods for a very long time. I was well aware of when I was ovulating. Now, with Conceiving Daisy, we were actually going to try in the new year of 2016, so January onwards. But it got to July and me and Mark just said one night, like, why are we waiting? Let's go for it. And we 
went for it i knew i was ovulating anyway but i had no idea that it would actually work and we we had a really nice romantic evening i want to say and that was that and then what we did after that was that we basically just you know did the deed every single day um until it got to a point where like our bits were gonna fall off so <laughs> So we stopped um, and we waited but I have to say like I think I knew quite early on I wrote down all my symptoms on my phone I've still got a little list on my phone now which is really funny to think of that and I found out I was pregnant when I was 10 days post ovulation and I've got a video of that on the day that I found out. <laughs> like they're all positive so I'll leave that link down below as well. Obviously you want to find out more then let me know and I am very nervous about trying next time around because I am fully aware of how lucky I am and I do desperately want a third baby so I really really hope like fingers crossed that we are able to conceive I'm prepared to put the work in and I'm prepared that it may take a little while um but hopefully we are best with a third. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below like what your TTC journey has been like so far. Are any of you trying to conceive? If you are, good luck. I'm really, really thinking of you. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and good luck. Happy sex and baby dust to any of those of you that are trying. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching.